Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick, Alonzo Duraldi. Joining us today, April Wolf from LA Weekly. Welcome. Hello. Your first time here. Uh, talking about, there's uh, two big uh, TV to movie adaptations this week. We have the latest in the uh, ever-expanding uh, Star Trek franchise. But first, absolutely fabulous, the movie. Yeah, when is there not an adaptation of a TV show <laughs> these days? Good point. So absolutely fabulous. Let me give you um, a little rundown on that. Uh, Patsy and Adina are back, and um, they've been here for two decades. And um, now they're broke, and so they need some way to fill up the champagne cabinet. And of course, hilarity ensues. Um, they end up, you know, uh, killing Kate Moss and having to escape to the French Riviera. R Riviera. I can't even <laughs> say that word. Um, and it's it's all over the place because that's just basically what the the premise of the show is. So the you know the so, <laughs> take a look. Oh God, darling, sweetheart. Come over here. I think I am now officially fatter sideways than I am front on. No, you don't need those. I am your mirror. How do I look? Fabulous. Thank you. Hi, darling. No, I'm working from Nobu this week. You don't know this, and I don't know this, but Kate Moss is changing her PR. You've got to get her. So I was a huge, huge, huge fan of the show. Like, I remember, I mean, I, I was just the right age and time and everything that when it aired, I just yeah. thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. I remember I had, a, I had an advanced VHS cassette from I guess Comedy Central <laughs> where they aired. Yeah, I know. It was it was the it was the early night. It was like '94 that yeah. this thing aired, and I just remember showing it to everybody and like just schlepping it around. You know, like oh my god, you have to see this. You have to see yeah. this. Um, and then over the years, Patsy and Adita would come back for like a few episodes or a yeah, special like Christmas special or something. Yeah. Before, yeah, and they were always a little less funny and a little less. Pointed and uh, in a way the characters got softer. In a way, the world kind of caught up to them. Like they yeah. they were so outrageously, hilariously awful back then, and then they just sort of became more normal. Yeah. This movie, I kind of think, is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I really think it's this one. When I was watching it, I was like, oh man, you're either gonna love this or hate this. <laughs> and you know, it caught me. I think on a really good day. Uh huh. Um, to see it because a lot of terrible things were happening in the world mm. and you know the guy next to me in the screening he was just like I need to laugh so hard <laughs> and he like said it out loud to the theater and we were like yes please. <laughs> so it was a support group. <laughs> it was a support group you know and and for me okay look I get it reality tv is like it's so much more ridiculous than, than Patsy and Adina but at the same time there's something so wonderful about seeing these two middle-aged women who are, you know, falling down the stairs mm -hmm. and like drunk and making the worst comments because I I think in my heart, you know, when I'm watching it, it's really cathartic because I just don't I don't see that ever. Sure. So I think it's it's um But I don't think but I don't think like the comments are as funny as they used to be. Like they used to be yeah. really pointed and vicious and I, I kind of I don't know I sort of feel like they've been sanded down over the years and now they're the the, the two of them are sort of like I mean yeah they're still total narcissists yeah but they aren't like mean the way they used to be and they, and mean was funny with with the way they did it I don't know now were, were you had you a fan of were you a fan of the show had you yeah. watched it much I, okay. I was a really big fan of the show and you know that kind of like secret you know like <laughs> club where you're just like oh do you know what ab fab is you know? <laughs> and even today there's just a lot of people. I, I would just, I actually wonder how it resonates for American audiences. Well, I'm that, I, I'm wondering how this movie, if, if assuming anybody who has never seen the show wanders into it, are they even going to get it? Yeah. I mean, because the, this is a, you know, uh, I, I sort of famously panned um, Warcraft, you know, and uh, <laughs> what I've heard from a lot of people who love the game is they, they re, even, even people who love the game and will even sort of defend the movie admit that the movie doesn't make any effort to really reach out to people who hadn't already come in knowing the game. And this movie's kind of the same deal. Like, if you don't already know, like, Safi's relationship with Adina and mm -hmm. Adina's relationship with her mother or Bubble or the two, you know, oh, she has some lovely chairs. Mm -hmm. You know, those women, the movie does not tell you. You just have to, like, pick up where they left off yeah. on TV. And um, that's 
already a problem. And even the, even as somebody who came in knowing all that stuff, mm -hmm. I still felt like it wasn't giving me good stuff. Like, the, there's a scene where Safi, ha it, it, for very complicated reasons, is pressed into <laughs> performing karaoke at a drag club. And that's a scene that could have been really funny, but it's so choppily edited and kind of haphazardly thrown together that it never, the joke never lands. See, I do think that, um, you know, we're talking about the, the actual filmmaking of it. Like uh -huh. that, you're, I mean, you're so right on. The, the, the editing, you know, kind of like the bright lighting, that kind of thing. Like yeah. it, it wasn't what it could be for, for a movie, especially if you've got like a bigger budget than what their show is doing. Sure. You know, if you're, if you're heading to the French Riviera, then like, you know, you've got like a little bit of money to shoot sometimes. Sure, yeah. So I, I do think that like the editing was a little bit haphazard. <laughs> um, and... I don't. I don't know. There's something about this movie that affects me on a gut level. Okay. But again, it's one of those things where uh, you know, even in my review, I'm just like, if if you don't know these things, <laughs> I'm gonna let you know that like 50% of the jokes might not land for you, sure. especially if you just don't know British culture. Right. Um, so it's just it's not gonna be for everyone. But there's also something really interesting about a movie being made that they're like, we don't care if you get it. <laughs> You know, like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get that, but the thing is, like, I'm so the target audience for this movie. True, I'm like yeah. a middle-aged gay guy, you know, <laughs> yeah. who can like quote this show chapter and verse. And even I was just like, like, I, I wanted to be on board. Like, there, there were sort of some sort of like early anticipatory laughs at things that weren't all that funny in the first five minutes or so. Yeah. And then it was just like these long stretches of not laughing at all. And and half of the times I did laugh, it was just because it was callbacks to things like pop specs or something. You know, yeah. like some some little random joke from the show. Joan Collins cracks me up. Yeah, like. yeah. I mean, the, the cameos are pretty funny. You know, I I always love to see Lulu. Heaven knows. But I just I, this just feels like and here's the thing. I, it's not even so much this is a wasted opportunity. I think this movie is 20 years too late. I think that the 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 the, the really sort of zeitgeist moment of of what this show is parodying is was from two decades ago because I, I, again I think the yeah. world kind of caught up. I think that that the internet and the Kardashians and all these other stuff, Patsy and Adina are amateurs when it's yeah. when you compare them to like the sort of gross fame hungry like you know trend chasing you know, world that we've turned into. But I, I kind of feel like that might have been a little bit of a part of the movie. At, like, at least that's how I saw it, mm. was that, um, you know, you start to realize that, like, they're not the worst. You know, like, there's <laughs> other, there's, like, other people who are, like, like, just as bad as them. Right. Or, where, you know, like, when, like, they end up at a party, you know, and they've got that, um, they're, like, looking for old, old older men or men at the same age. Uh, right. <laughs> and you've got like all these 20 year old women who are just like. Throwing themselves yeah, throwing, them. yeah, and it's just like, oh, these are the terrible people now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like they're almost like, they're they're like getting to a certain age where it's just like, can we be bad still? <laughs> like, I mean, people have, like, they're worse than us, you know? Right. Yeah, I, I just, you know, I think, again, it's one of those movies where if I laughed, I would have forgiven yeah. a lot of the details, but I just didn't laugh, and I and I wanted to. God knows I wanted to, because I <laughs> love this show so much. I love the two of them, Jennifer Saunders, Joanna Lumley, like just comedy geniuses. Um, you know, uh, Jane Horrocks, uh, the, you know, uh, uh, Julia Sawala, that whole mm -hmm. cast is so great, oh, and I just, just waiting for them to have things to do that were, it's true. that worked. <laughs> the parts that were physical humor, mm -hmm. I think you, you can't, you can't beat them. But nobody falls out of a car like Jennifer Saunders. No, I, I grant no. You. you know, like no one falls out of a car. <laughs> or Jennifer then, Saunders' stunt double, maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, or tumbles two flights of stairs. Or you know, like it's. Uh, I think there's something there's something magic about that. I do. I actually wish that there was more stumbling, more <laughs> kind of more pratfalls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because. You know, you can't argue with that. You don't need a lot of story if you're just like, oh, yeah. That's true, yeah. They're falling down. What do you mean? <laughs> so, yeah, I'd say go, if you, you know, go back and watch the first couple seasons of, of this show. It's brilliant. You know, you, like if you get the big box set they put out, watch Mirrorball, which was a pilot that they did with the oh. whole cast with playing other characters, which is genius, and I wish they'd done more with that. But, yeah, this, this kind of let me cold. All right, what's your, what is your number, ma'am? I, 
I have it, I think, a little bit higher, <laughs> I, you know, just because I, I'm just I'm so obsessed with like the nostalgia of this. And, sure. like, and I, again, I admit that a lot of it is not for everyone, but I think that mine is probably going to be like 7.3. OK, uh, I gave it a three and a half. And I think <laughs> I, I, but and again, I, and maybe I'm additionally disappointed because I went in wanting oh. so much more because I love these people and, and these characters so much, or at least, you know, how they started anyway. So uh, for us, that's a 5.4, but it's at 71 uh, percent on the tomato meter so obviously it's working for somebody <laughs> um, yeah I don't know I don't know about not if, I don't even know if non fans of the show would, would want to see this movie but uh, I'd be, it'd be interesting to see how, how it plays but if you're a fan um, you know it, it might work for you <laughs> thank you thank you for joining us today I appreciate it and uh, we'll see you guys later